Welcome back to another episode of Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with Socrates. Today we're doing the second part of the CNC machine unboxing, the CNC machine building. So we're going to tuck right into this thing here and zoom along forward. It'll look a lot easier because I'll be done by the time this video is being seen. At the moment, I have a table full of parts. So let's get to it, shall we? Most important step. Well, it started with a whole lot of parts, and uh, I figured I should put those parts together as soon as possible. Just sort of laid it out in general. There's an instruction uh, manual that comes with the, the C108, I think it is, and uh, that helps a lot, and that's what I'm referring to on the computer. But basically, once you've got your parts laid out properly, you just slowly start putting it together. The first thing was the following that, that collar for the, uh, I guess it's the Y-axis machine. I found it difficult to get the collar on the right distance. That's why I put a little piece of paper in there to give it a spacer, which you could just rip out. And once I got it right now, in the end, I should have put the, these, the, the long collar that goes on the other end of that threaded rod should have gone on first, and I'll have to disassemble the machine in a little while or at least that one piece to put that on. And I just went around slowly with the power screwdriver, giving it a light tighten, and then went through a second time with the Allen wrench and tried to do a star pattern where it's at all possible. Shortly I'm going to realize that I needed to put the other piece on it. Uh-oh. It's coming up. And your bed has the, the bottoms that hold the bed to the Y-axis. And now I realized I made a small mistake. Not that big a deal. The uh, screw comes right out of the collet. Still took a couple minutes though. And this is running at uh, 2000, so about 20 times normal speed. It was about an hour and 40 minutes straight through. I took a small break in the middle, but for the most part I just banged it out. Like a lot of things, it's a slow process, just following the instructions piece by piece, flipping the machine over when possible, when needed, and again, trying to lightly tighten things up so that everything is, nothing is causing a, a lash or nothing is too tight against each other, preventing the other things to, to come on properly. So once you lightly tighten everything, usually in a star pattern, crossing whenever possible, then go back through with an Allen wrench and tighten it up nice and tight, because this is going to have a lot of vibrations when it's running. There was my little break one there, I think. Now we're doing the side arms, making sure, of course, you have the proper arm because they're different. Do the same procedure with the paper to make sure the collet went on with just enough clearance. And once that was done, you just attach the x axis motor. Then the cross beam has a two bars and the actual threaded rods or the threaded rod for the x-axis and also the two sliding beams as well so getting the actual head unit itself ready to be mounted with the z-axis motor the other side goes on again trying to make sure it's all all goes on light loosely before tightening it all up And finally, with a Allen wrench, wasn't that bad a process? It was kind of fun to build. Still commissioning it at this point. I'm building some vibration feet so it won't make as much noise as it's going to want to make because these things are very loud, and I really don't want that for my neighbors or myself. So, and then we're getting right to the end of it. it looks like a machine. All we have to do is slip the uh, motor in. It was very tight. I had to use a screwdriver to pry it apart to get it to slide in there. The wiring itself is pretty simple. Just a few clips to go into the three different axes and the motor itself. 
I have the offline unit as well. Seems to be a very nice unit. I'm quite pleased with it so far. I'm still in the process of commissioning it, but looking forward to using it, and that'll be in another video soon. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed putting it together, and I hope to enjoy working it. Those are the four feet which are not mentioned in the instructions. And that's what I'm going to attach the vibration prints to. So, there you have it. Wasn't that hard, was it? Certainly after the fact it wasn't. It was a little fiddly in the middle there. But, it looks like a really nice machine. Quite happy with it. Have to do the commissioning, of course. Hook the electronics up. Do a little software work. And then, chop some metal. Well, probably some wood first, but nonetheless. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, if you're like me, you're going to get some lunch now. Tune in soon for we'll uh, do our first jig cut. Thanks for watching. See you next time.